This is question number six from M1, January 2013, GCE paper. Um, <clears throat> question about vectors. And in this question, I and J are horizontal unit vectors due east and due north, respectively. Something which is east, which is in this direction, and J would be in this direction. They're both one unit. Basically, that's what they're telling us. I and J. Okay, that's I. Oops. That's I and that's J. I is east and J is north, and they're both the same distance, one unit long. Okay, that's all that means. And that's that vector, and that's that vector. Okay, a ship set sail at 9 a.m. from a port P, and it moves with constant velocity. The position vector of P is 4i minus 8j kilometers. At 9.30, which is half an hour later, the ship is at the point with position vector i minus 4j kilometers. Find the speed of the ship in kilometers per hour. Okay, so we need to find the speed of the ship. Okay, let's just make some space here. So what we have here is the fact that we know that the position vector of any point is equal to its initial position plus its velocity times time. We're dealing with, um, you know, velocity vectors and such, position vectors and velocity vectors. So the position vector at any particular time, t, is equal to r0, which is the initial position, the position where it started when t was 0. So r0 is when t was 0, plus its velocity times t. So what we know is, we know that its initial position, okay, at the time it set sail, which is 9 a.m., is 4i minus 8j. 4i minus 8j. Okay, we could write this as 4 and minus 8 if you want. Some people prefer to use vectors in that form. And we know that its position r after um, half an hour, okay, at 9.30, okay, r at 9.30, which is um, when t is 0 0.5, is going to be, they told us, it's i minus 4j. So it's i minus 4j. Which can be written as 1 and minus 4 if you wish. Alright, so we can see here that we want to find the velocity. We know the time is half an hour, okay, which is 0 0.5. Okay, the time is half an hour, because from 9 to 9.30 is um, 30 minutes, but they want the speed in kilometers per hour. So 30 minutes is half an hour, 0 0.5 hours. Okay, so we need to find what V is. So if we rearrange this formula, we'll say, we'll say R minus R0 over the time is equal to v. So our velocity vector will be r minus r0. So r is the, the, the position when, when it's at 0 0.5 hours, which is okay, it's positioned at 9.30. So you have i, you have 1 and minus 4, okay, minus r0, which is 4 and minus 8, 4i minus 8j. And all of that is divided by 0 0.5. Okay, so you end up with 1 minus 4. Okay, when you divide something by 0 0.5, you multiply it by 2. So it's going to be 2 times. You have 1 minus 4, which is minus 3. And you have minus 4 minus minus 8, which is minus 4 plus 8, which is 4. Okay, so your velocity vector, therefore, is going to be minus 6 and 8. Okay, which you can write as minus 6i and plus 8j. Okay, so we have here the velocity of the ship, okay, at um, in kilometers per hour, but we're asked to find the speed of the ship. That's what we're asked to find. So what we need to do here is to find the magnitude of the velocity. The velocity is a scalar quant is a is a vector quantity and the speed is a scalar quantity, so we've got to find the magnitude of this velocity. So the magnitude of the velocity will be given by, so you're using Pythagoras' theorem, you're going to have to find the square root of minus 6 squared plus 8 squared, which is 
that's 36 plus 64 which is 100 the square root of 100 which is 10 kilometers per hour and there's the answer for the speed of the ship so the speed of the ship is 10 kilometers per hour this is part a done okay part b tells us to show that the position vector r of the ship t hours after 9 a.m is given by this vector here so we know that again r is equal to r0 plus v t okay so now we've got to find what r is for any time t so our answer is going to be in terms of t but we know now that r0 well we know r0 is 4 minus 8 as before okay and we know now the velocity the velocity vector is minus 6 and 8 and the time is now general time so we can write a vector r equals you're going to have r0 which is 4 minus 8 plus t times the velocity which is minus 6 and 8 now they want it in a particular form which is 4 minus 6ti so they're basically here we can say that's equal to you've, you've taken the i components which are the common components on the top so 4 minus 6t you can see that's 4 minus 6t on the top that's the i component and the j component is minus 8 plus 8t minus 8 plus 8t so we can uh, write this in terms of i and j as 4 minus 6ti that's the i component okay this is in column vector form this is in component form and you have the way they want us to write it is 18 minus 8 same as minus 8 plus 8t is like 18 minus 8 so you have plus 8t minus 8j so that's a and b done and i'll do part c in the next video